Here I've got a Sony CDX GT705DX. So this is a pretty top of the line uh, Sony unit from the early 2000s and their explode days, but it has a ton of EQ features when you see this XDSP um, logo or feature. It has time alignment, has subwoofer control, and the BBE processor. Um, has a DSO, which is like a sound field kind of thing. Almost like a, um, I guess kind of comparable to the Pioneer concert hall effects. Um, I've never had a system with it, but I'm sure someone looking for that kind of uh, effect would definitely enjoy this unit, especially considering those Pioneer units go for, I don't know, $800, $1,000, and this would be no, nowhere near that much. Uh, so you see 4-volt pre-outs front rear sub and then auxiliary in through an art through RCA jacks so super uh, packed with features definitely a great unit for a low-key look you know um, people assume Sony radios are terrible and you know the old ones were kind of gimmicky so uh, you know it, definitely surprise a lot of people to know that these that this radio has so many good features so I'll go ahead and turn it on the face is um, it's far from perfect it's not terrible or um, you know completely beat up or trash but there's there's scratches there's a fading of the button coatings but this is how you change the source it reads burn CDs, which is awesome. A lot of old school units don't. So this is just a burn CD I made with YouTube. Uh, no copyright music from their library. So I'll just do a quick rundown of the speaker and RCA outputs. Here I've got the white outputs connected. And that's going to the speaker over here. Now I've got the green outputs connected. And button six has the pause button. Looks like three and four LEDs are out. that or just need to reflow some solder or something usually um, not a hard fix with LEDs but the green outputs work got the gray outputs connected Lastly, the purple outputs. And I'll move on to the RCA outputs. That'll be tested on this portable speaker. Hard to tell, but these are the front outputs. And the middle pair are the rear, and the third pair are the auxiliary inputs and then this black pair is the subwoofer outputs which I'll test last and we'll go ahead and go to the left And that's the song ending. So, here we go. Okay, so. A 
over to the left. Still have audio playing, so the left works fine. And the right works fine. So here's the rear RCA outputs connected. That middle pair, go ahead and push play. That's the right, and over to the left. Still playing fine. And lastly, I'll test the subwoofer output. And this speaker is not the best for sub frequency, so uh, it might distort a little, but. Sorry, that was my son. <laughs> Just woke up from a nap. Uh, the sub output puts out a um, uh, full range signal until you turn the low pass filter on, which we can do in the audio. Oops. Doing the audio menu. There you go. So now, if I turn it up, it'll just be bass frequencies. And, like I said, it's not the best for bass, but Plays fine. Good job, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I like it. And yeah, so all the outputs are good. Speaker outputs, RCA outputs. So I'm going to test the aux auxiliary input, which will be in the source down here. The volume. So we got this playing. I'll go ahead and turn the volume up uh, on my phone. Uh, so uh, since I'm using my okay, waiting, okay, waiting. Since I'm using my RCA and auxiliary cable adapter for my phone, I'll have to use that speaker to the speaker output but I can press play and that's going into the auxiliary input and my source is on auxiliary So yeah, this radio is ready to go. Thanks for watching and feel free to enjoy my other videos. Subscribe and follow my Instagram page for future content and radios that I have for sale.